Hi, this is Lisa Crosby, and in this video, I'm going to take you through the AI Builder on the Power Platform in five minutes. So here are the key features of the AI Builder. The AI Builder is a low-code user experience on the Power Platform that allows the user to build AI models using a really simple point-and-click wizard-style interface. Once you've built the models, you can then use them in Power Apps and Flow to create all sorts of exciting business applications. The data behind the scenes does need to be on the common data service, so you'll need to make sure that you've got licensing for that before you get started with the AI Builder. And at the time of recording this video, which is July 2019, the current capabilities in preview are binary classification model, form processing model, object identification model, and a text classification model. So let's have a look at each of those now. So to get started with the AI Builder, you'll find it here in the menu of Power Apps or from within Microsoft Flow, and you'll see the four models there uh, that are available now ready to start. So let's have a look first at the binary classification model. The concept of a binary classification model is to predict a yes or no outcome. So in this example, I've chosen whether an account is going to end up on credit hold. You might have something where you're determining is a loan application going to be approved or not? Is a customer going to churn or not? That, that kind of thing. So what you need to do is choose an entity on the common data service and a field where the yes or no outcome is going to be predicted. And then you can go in and choose which fields are informing the model. So this allows you to remove anything that might be irrelevant or that might cause the wrong kind of bias and then you can train the model based on the fields that are that are relevant and what it will do is use your historical data to predict the future outcomes. You need a minimum of 50 records to train this model ideally a thousand obviously the more that's in there the more accurate it's going to be. So that's the binary classification. So the next model we're going to look at is the form processing model. And what this one allows you to do is upload uh, images or PDFs of any regular formatted forms that you use. I've got an example here of an invoice, which is probably one of the most common use cases, and extract the metadata from it using AI. So to train this model, you only need five to get started, which is a really nice, simple one if you want to have a play with this to get started. And then what it's doing in the training here is, is highlighting where it can see fields that it's identifying and it's actually working on a key and text pair there so you do need to have some kind of labels on the on the document either to the left of or above um, the information and then it's giving you a certainty you can see there where I've got some nice clear labels that it's giving me 100% certainty and then I can just click on those things to say yes I'd like to add those into into the model and then the next time when I build a power app to consume this one I could upload my image and it would extract that metadata and save all of that into the common data service automatically. So the next one is the object detection model and you'll see a lot of people uh, having a lot of fun with this one. The idea of this is that you can take a photo of an object and the AI model will automatically detect uh, what object that is. Really useful in a field service or retail um, scenario where you want to be able to just take a photo and quickly identify exactly what a product is for inventory management or, or service type scenarios. So for this one, you need a, an entity on the common data service and you need to upload a series of images and you need 50 images per tag. Ideally, you want to take them in lots of different angles, different lighting conditions, and you also need the right proportion of a you know, similar amount of images per tag. You don't want like 500 for one tag and only 50 for another. And to train the model, you just select the image, you highlight with a box uh, what, what the object is and assign the appropriate tag to it. And once your model's trained, then you can use this in your Power Apps and have all sorts of fun. And so lucky last, we have our text classification model, which I think is my favorite one. I'm having a bit of fun playing around here with a data set that classifies fake news items. The use case for this one would be, for instance, emails coming into a business and you want the model to automatically tag them so that you could send out um, you know, automated different response communications, perhaps route them in different ways for customer service cases. So this one works on both your text and tags being stored in an entity in the common data service. Again, the text needs to be fewer than 5,000 characters long and you need a minimum of 50 examples per tag and it can handle either single tags or multiple tags per item. So that's our AI builder. It's pretty fabulous, isn't it? Binary classification, form processing, object detection, and text classification, all with a really easy to use wizard style interface. Have fun.